Hi folks, Old South Sales in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell trucks, folks, and we sell a lot of them. All diesel trucks, mostly, we sell them only on eBay. Tonight, today, we're going to list a truck that's really, really hard to find if you go out, especially one that's affordable, and this one's going to be a value. It's a 2003, 2003 uh, Dodge, one-ton, turbo diesel, SLT, fully loaded, four-wheel drive, sitting on a good set of tires. Everything about it is kind of the way it, just the way it ought to be. You can see it. We're going to show it to you here. It does have the 5.9 Cummins. By the way, this truck's only got 150,000 miles on it, which is low, low miles. But as you can see, it's a decent truck, and it's a good truck if you need a one-ton four-wheel drive, folks. Golly bum. You're going to get a value here and a bargain, and you know what one new cost if you've been down to your local dealer. But these are hard, hard to find. People either want something stupid for them or they're ragged out. But you can see on this truck the paint looks good, tires are good, it's a southern truck, there's no rust issues, any of that. It's got a leveling kit on the front. Look inside here. Nice on the inside, windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, full wheel drive. CD, cassette. Seats look good. Power seat. Headliner looks good. There's your seat working, moving around. Just a, just a good looking truck. And you know, we're not selling a concourse truck. We're selling a really, really good truck that's gonna be a value. Privacy glass, you can see the headliner's not sagging. All the upholstery's good. It's a southern truck. No rust whatsoever. And it's not it's not beat up and chewed up. You can see the fenders here, there's no dings, pings, and all that. No cracks it's nice in them. Under there. Tail lights look good. Not been backed into anything. It's got a spray in bed liner. The bed liner looks great. The bed looks great in it. And that is a turnover ball, so you can flip it over so the bed will be flat if you don't you never use need it. it. But if you do, that'll save you lots of money. Those things are expensive to put on there. Once again, you can see under here, not been abused. This truck's got, how far as you can see here, up inside. It's shut. Still tight. Uh, it's locked. Oh, okay, I just read the corner. See here, folks? The dash has been recovered already. That's common on Dodges. If your dash doesn't need it, then it's already been done. Carpets are nice, not cracked and beat up. There's not rips and tears. See, the door pockets are clean. Haven't been a work you, truck. If you need, if you got a big boat, you need to to pull or go into town, or you have a lawn service, or you're a farmer, whatever you need. You just need a diesel, one-ton four-wheel drive, folks, with a with the strongest Dodge engine made. I mean, this would be perfect. As I said, the paint looks good. You can see it sitting here. It's got Michelin tires on it, and that alone should tell you how well it's been taken care of because usually when people have a 15-year-old truck, they don't spend a couple grand on Michelin tires. And it's not eat up with miles. It's a good truck, folks, 2003. Now, I will tell you one thing here on these older trucks we find. This one has a really, has a, perfect good Mississippi title that you can use anywhere. However, it does have a flood history. So the only thing we can figure from that is that it was in a hurricane area or something somewhere or whatever, and someone scammed their insurance company, which is real common. But I just wanted to tell you about that. You wouldn't know it otherwise, but that is that is the background of the truck. You what we drive it anyway, everything on it works. It's, a, it's the way it ought to be. It's a 2003 Dodge, one ton dually, four wheel drive, SLT package with all the equipment, sitting on a good set of tires. Just a good solid truck that's gonna be a real value and a bargain. Thanks for watching our video, folks. We appreciate it. Look forward to visiting with you about this one ton four wheel drive dually. Seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. Hi folks, Dan Dale here. You listen to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a test drive. But before I do, I just want to show you a couple things under the hood. First of all, we don't clean under the hood. This is just how it came in. 
So, a little dirty, not too bad. The main thing I want to show you though is the truck is warmed up and you can see no smoke and I set the cap on, it doesn't blow off. That means there's no blow by either. What blow by is is engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase. It's not necessarily the sign of a bad engine, but it's the sign of wear that this truck doesn't have. So now I'm gonna hop in, take you for a little quick spin, although I'm gonna have to go quickly to the gas station because as usual, my guys have been driving this thing, moving it in and out, and haven't bothered to tell me, hey, you're about to run out of diesel. Maybe you should put some in it. No, that would, that would be called taking the initiative, and that will require effort. And that's not something that's easy to come by anymore. But anyway, you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work. I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the very, very, very worst roads in the city of Jackson. So even though the video may come out a little shaky, rest assured the truck itself has a great ride and drive. And one thing you can take away from all these potholes and stuff I'm going to be running over is there's not a lot of thunks or bangs or anything like that. Uh, you can see it's got the Infinity stereo with CD and cassette. Cup holder is in good shape. It's not broke. A lot of times these are bad about people putting stuff that's in them that's too heavy and they break. But these are in good shape. Come on. Um, the uh, windshield, believe it or not, is the original windshield. It's got one little rock pick right towards the bottom center, but it's not running, so I'm not going to worry about it, since, especially since it's still got this tent somebody's added here at the top. So I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, I said you can feel all these bumps we're running over, and there's no clunks in the front end or any of that. I got the mirrors flipped up. They're power. They work. Uh, no problems there. goes down the road just like you want it to doesn't pull going down the road doesn't vibrate or pull when you hit the brakes all that's good on it um, fortunately these 03 models there's no emissions to deal with so you don't have to worry about doing a delete or any of that crap you got to mess with on the newer ones you just get in it and go which is a, a big bonus to me not having to worry about you know well do i delete it what happens if they start checking emissions next year and i've got a deleted truck and my screws you know stuff like that um now like dad said it's got a um the title's clean it's not salvage or anything i don't remember if it was mississippi or alabama or it's, it's somewhere we bought it locally but uh now it's got a brand for flood it's got flood branded on the title but like I said, it's not a salvage title or anything, so you can go straight down to your DMV, register it, drive it, insure it, do anything you want to do. What happens is you get a big hurricane down in this part of the world and you know a million cars get messed up and well the insurance company can't send people out to inspect every last one of them. So you know somebody calls they just call and say hey my truck got flooded insurance says okay send us the title we'll send you a check we'll send a record to come get the vehicle and that's how you end up with a bunch of vehicles that have uh even after they're inspected after somebody buys them at the insurance auction and gets them inspected they'll always have that flood brand even though they have a clean title and even if nothing was done to them um, I'm not 100% sure that was the case with this one, but that's what I believe because it's just too nice. And, you know, like I said, uh, everything works on it. There's no, uh, you know, flickering. No, there's no warning lights or anything like that lit up on the dash. All that stuff on it's good. So that's what leads me to believe that's what happened with this truck. But uh, either way, you got a nice truck. All the stuff works on it. 
only thing I can nitpick on this truck, if you look on the dash, you got the seatbelt light on because I'm not buckled, but it says lamp out under the odometer. And generally that means there's a tail light out, but we've checked the tail lights and the brake lights and they're fine. So I don't know why it says lamp out. So, you know, hopefully my mechanic can figure that out when he gets time, but if not, then you know, you may just have to, to live with it. That's all I can tell you about. But now I'm going to stop and get a little fuel and then we'll get back to it. Alright, now we're back in the truck. We got a little fuel in here, so we don't have to worry about running out. And we can get on down the road uh, and show you how it runs on the highway and all that. If you want to fly in here to Jackson Air National Airport, and drive it home you can we'll pick you up at the airport no extra charge we'll come back here to my place here in beautiful south jackson and we will do all the paperwork and feedback and everything and let you get on the road if you uh want to do that we're open monday through friday nine to five so just let me know or if you like most of our customers, you're buying from us because we've got good prices and rust-free southern trucks. So if, if you think you don't have time to spend several days drying or flying in and then driving home, don't let the idea of having to ship it dissuade you from uh, being interested in buying it. And if you look online at these online price quotes they give for shipping, don't let the prices you get on there scare you off because odds are we can save you as much as half off depending on how much of a hurry you're in and the reason for that is most of these guys you find online they're not actual brokers they're not uh, operating a fleet of transport trucks or anything uh, they're not actual shippers I should say they're brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars up front and they'll call it a deposit but all it really is, is their broker's fee for finding somebody else to haul your truck. And what we've done is, they all use this one website called Central Dispatch that's not open to the public. It costs a couple grand a year to be on it. And we've joined them, got on Central Dispatch, paid all the fees, so basically we can offer our customers wholesale rates on shipping. And uh, Basically, the way it works is you shoot me a text, 601-376-9869 or an email with your zip code, and I'll get you a good ballpark figure on shipping. And if you're anywhere near Dallas or Houston or Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida, then I can get you a real good deal on shipping. But regardless, we do that. You, you can either send us a FedEx us a cashier's check or do a bank wire for payment. And as soon as we get that, we post it for shipment. Uh, and we're not we're not the actual shippers. We're just going to find somebody to ship it to you. So we'll find somebody. It usually takes three to five days on average. If you're way off, it could take a little longer. If you're not too far off, we could, it could be a lot sooner. Just That's the average. But we'll find somebody to haul it to you. We'll go ahead and send you the title and all the paperwork. And when you meet the transport, driver to get your truck you just hand them cash for the shipping so it's a real smooth easy process we've done it hundreds and hundreds of times with no issues so like i said if you're interested shoot me a text 601-376-9869 with your uh, with your zip code and i'll get back with you i can get you a good ballpark figure it won't be an exact figure but it'll, it'll be in the ballpark uh what it's going to cost and and all that so uh, if you have any questions about the truck you know give me a call 601-376-9869 be glad to answer any questions you may have now we've been driving a little while I want you to look at the dash here you can see the only light on is the seatbelt light and of course the lamp out that we already talked about but there's no engine lights airbag ABS none of that and I like to show the dash after I've been driving a while because, you know, it's easy to hook your scan tool up, take a picture of a, kill a light, take a picture and say, oh, look, no light's lit. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it, 
then as soon as you go to driving that light's going to come right back on so that's why i like to show it after the dash after we've been driving a while so you can see for yourself that there really are no lights lit um, trying to think if there's anything else i haven't covered But yeah, if you have any questions about the truck itself, you know, give me a call, 601-376-9869 if you want to know about the 5.9 the engine. Um, now what I will do, if, when you look at it on eBay, there will be a link to a full factory option list. Uh, Dodge is the best manufacturer, or well, the only one that does it. You can plug in the VIN on their website and it'll pull up all the factory standard and optional equipment that that particular truck has and uh, we put a link in there to it to every you know Dodge, Plymouth, Chrysler, whatever vehicle we sell so you can see for yourself what all the factory options are. Um, you know for an SLT this thing is pretty much loaded. You can see it's got the, the overhead deal with the distance to empty, the compass heading stuff. Got the automatic dimming rear view mirror. Now it's missing the little lights for these re the lenses for these reading lights. I'm going to try and find some, um, but you know, just in case I don't, just assume I won't. And that way, I don't want anybody mad over ten dollars worth of lenses if I don't, uh, if I forget or something. We got so many trucks we're trying to get ready right now. But um, yeah, beyond that, if you have any other questions, give me a call. I uh, want to talk about pricing, give me a call. I'm going to try it, no reserve, and hopefully I don't get a flaky bidder and it actually sells, but if you see it relisted later on a best offer, don't get mad at me and say, well, your video said no reserve. Well, about two out of three of my no reserve auctions end in flakes I, that I never even hear from, and they may have hundreds of feedbacks, and they, I guess they jump in and they think I'm kidding when I say no reserve, and they didn't realize what they could get it bought for. Then they get it bought and go, oh crap, I, I, don't, I, don't, I can't afford it or whatever. I don't know what people's rationale is. But uh, anyway, I get a lot of bogus deadbeat bidders on eBay and it is for sale locally. So, you know, if you like the truck, give me a call, make me an offer and I'll sell it. And, you know, I, I pay all my eBay fees up front so I'm not cheating eBay. I'll, uh, if we work something out, I'll, have you bid, make you high bidder, and um, sell it to you, and you know that way you get the the eBay buyer protection and everything, and we have a a smooth transaction. But uh, yeah, beyond that, like I said, if you have any questions, give me a call. It's Dan Dale, 601-376-9869. Appreciate you watching the video and listening to everything I've had to say and Dad's had to say about the truck. And look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you.